English 113, Grammar 1, Chapter 6, Nouns and Pronouns, Part 1. Chapter 6, Nouns and Pronouns, Part 1. The Learning Objectives. By the end of this chapter, you will be able to use nouns as subjects and objects, recognize the use of adjectives, understand the use of subject pronouns and object pronouns, identify the plural form of nouns, Recognize the spelling of the plural S. Identify the irregular plural forms of nouns. Nouns. Subjects and objects. A noun is used as a subject of a sentence. The subject stands before the verb. Birds fly. The kids are laughing. The kids is the subject. Laughing is the verb. A noun is used as the object of a verb. The object comes after the verb. John is holding a pen. This is an object because it comes after the verb which is holding. Children like candy. A noun is used as the object of a preposition. The object comes after the preposition. Birds fly in the sky. John is holding a pen in his hand. Adjective plus nouns. Adjectives modify nouns. They give more information about nouns. Adjectives do not have a plural form. They usually come immediately before nouns. I don't like cold weather. You know that the weather is cold. Cold is the adjective. Alex is a happy child. Happy is the adjective. Heavy traffic creates noisy streets. Heavy and noisy are the adjectives because they give more information about the nouns, which in this case, traffic and streets. An adjective can also follow the verb be. The adjective describes the subject of the sentence. The weather is cold. Kids are hungry. The verb be is are. Hungry is the adjective. Hungry is describing the subject of the sentence, which is kids. You know from reading the sentence, the kids are hungry. Personal pronouns, subjects and objects. A pronoun refers to a noun. If the noun is used as subject, Use a subject pronoun. Subject pronouns. I, he, she, it, you, we, they. If the noun is used as an object of a verb or object of a preposition, use an object pronoun. Object pronouns. Me, him, her, it, you, us, them. Personal pronouns, subjects and objects. The subject stands before the verb. The object comes after the verb or after the preposition. Khaled is my classmate. He is absent today. Khaled is my best friend. I know him well. This is an object. Mary is not at work today. She is ill. The subject stands before the verb. The object comes after the verb or after the preposition. Here are examples. Mary has a toothache. We are going to take her to the dentist. My parents live in Jeddah. They were born there. I visited them every month. How is your English? It is improving slowly. Tom and I are good students. We always study together. Our teacher likes us a lot. Personal pronouns, subjects, and objects. The pronouns I, me, you, he, him, she, her, and it refer to singular nouns. The pronouns we, us, you, they, and them refer to plural nouns. Examples. Ahmad is at the library. He is studying. The students are at the library. They are studying. I bought a new car. It is expensive. 
Where did you put the keys? I cannot find them. Fahad and I are not going to Ali's party. He did not invite us. End of part one.